Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. And we are now gonna investigate this cabin, the hideout. I'd started to think Jed Scudder had made it up. Now, official letter to beloved Scudder, province of Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Massachusetts uh, of the Bay, officer of the governor, Sir William Phipps, notice of sentence and execution. As is nearest living relative, you are here with informed on the death by hanging on um, Jedediah Scudder, who I believe was your father, but the crime of murder. For the crime of murder, I pro a proper trial he had under the principles of Oya and the Terminer, the Terminer, Terminer uh, which... <laughs> Oh my boy. At which he was heard to express regret for the man he was and the deeds to which he owned. The hangman was fast and the body was buried in Bristol without delay. The prisoner left a word of first king. Please turn the page, your servant. That's page in Boston, 1695. Son, they have got me as they got my pa and his before. They must not get you. Walk straight and true and you'll have to no reason to hang. You must listen to your cousin as I should have listened to his father. That line is straight. Follow it, your father. Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. He was surprised by Jed's accusation, but not that Jed was dead. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? Business plan, a detailed business plan for a sugar plantation somewhere in West Indies with full financials, blueprints of main house and outbuildings, a map of the land for sale, a financial plan, land equipment and holdings, yada yada yada. 50 pieces of eight should do it total 100 pounds. A plantation in the West Indies. Plan down to the purchase price. Before we go in the last clue, um, mischievous discoveries upon the first th third decade of T. Lewis translated out of the Italian with form of m uh, marginal any medvirious noting and dexing his errors by E. D. London, printed by Thomas Paine for William Hilt and Daniel Pigman, and are to be fold in little, written at the at the White Hoff and uh, at the Rainbow near the Inner Temple. Make no sense to me. Now, an essay concerning humane understanding. An essay concerning humane understanding. In four books, written by John Lockie Gent, the first or gentleman, first edition. Uh, as though not, not what is way of the spirit, nor have, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even for though note, oh God, this old, old English, if this is it, not the works of God who make all things. Quambell, okay, that's Latin, London printed on, blah, 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 the black swan in Peter Nova Raw and so Menf at the ship on in Cornhill near the Royal Exchange. Quite a library for a man who can't read. We've learned enough. Okay, let's then have a con from well, not a direct confrontation, especially not a physical confrontation, but we are gonna James have. Right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the Scudder boys. And that we will do. And that we will do. And then this little... Well, little. The haunting case is then through what I... You see, this again is a rather... Well, it apparent, It seems to be a short one. The, uh, the first haunting case we did here was way longer. So they differ in length, which is good. So all, not all of them are very, very long. Now, hello. They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. Ah, that's what this is for, right? Confess! Beg for mercy! I will not hang. I can't carry the burden! 
You can. And you will. <laughs> we need to eavesdrop more. Yes. So we'll put it behind us. New Eden. Everything. I cannot put it behind me. I bashed a man's brains in. I must fess it. No. I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No. What the? <gasps> Jed, no one move. Including you, Jed. Thank God you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either. Until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence... The Scudder Boy. The Scudder Boy plays the fool. Plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. When the postman passed with a payroll, you took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty. But the plan was yours, from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But... I never... Well... Wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you gonna do about it? Credence... How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Jedediah, you wish to prevent your son from meeting his father's fate. But by haunting him, in time, your love will kill him. I am here for credence. My boy is good. He's no killer, I grant you, but he is a liar and a thief. He's rude, too. His father clearly loves him, for whatever that's worth. Spare my boy! Punish his cousin! Dead men give no orders. Take me instead. We might well do just that. Anything to say in your defense, beloved? I didn't know. I, I, I swear I didn't know. My arse. He hit the messenger with a rock. He did it. You knew what you were doing. You wanted a way. You wanted the payroll. Rotten hell. You, you used me. I shall rise above them. A great and wealthy man. My cousin by my side. Please. We used each other. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. Yeah, this time I'm gonna blame him. Credence Scudder, a malignant manipulator, you killed a man in cold blood and tried to lay the murder on your cousin. With the least of your many mischiefs, you brought the tormented soul of an anguished father back from the dead. Sir, please, please, sir. I beg of you. Pa! That soft shite will work on me no more. Time to cut the bad from you. See what's left.
This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. He's dead. You've killed him. What is wrong with you? Get out of my house, murderer. Now. Leave him to his grief. It's a bad day to be beloved Scudder. I always have the feeling that I decide you wrong. And this time when I did selected the plane, I actually thought at that moment that I was, you know, that that was not, that that was the right move. I don't know. But this was the first time in this game I actually had the feeling that that was the right thing to do. As weird as it sounds. I know that in this game at least a person through that has died, right? Um, but well, now I do have to plan, find the way to the back to follow this. And on the way there, we pass there. That is now the plan. Um, as I said, I do not know. I will probably, I think, in... I am not that certain how many, let me put it like that, how many haunting cases we will do. I mean, in the end, it is for the character development, and I'm not talking about story-wise, but attribute-wise, not a bad thing to do. Although it costs time, I will probably put in a main mission in Patrine. Jacob, you all right? You look unwell. I am. I am unwell. They're back, sir. The dark thoughts are back. I fear I'll do it again. Slow down, lad. What dark thoughts? Say, we went a-searching for them who died in Thickskin's March. We went to fetch their corpses, and they were gone, all dead, all eaten. They were attacked in the woods. Wolves did this. What if... What if I ate them? What if I was one of them wolves? I have a brute in me, an animal. I'm a werewolf. I need a cure. A werewolf, is it? Where'd you get that idea? Found it in a dead man's book. There where the landslide was. But there's a cure. A plant. I remember them. Used to grow in the valleys round here. They all wilted when Ben died. Where Ben died. I can't remember the name of them, but I knew them from the drawing. Long purple things. There's my cure. It's in a book, so it must be true. All right, Jacob. Settle down. I'll see what I can do. And I think we have them already, by the way. Right then. What's the good word? Round here. Cass says I know, sir. I keep to myself. Tell me about thick skin. She good to you? She took me in when I first came to New Eden. Now she's taken me in again. Best hunter I ever knew. I don't deserve her kindness. How fares Kate, by your reckoning? She's up and left, isn't she? Maybe that's what's needed. I don't know. Ain't too safe round here. Hope I didn't scare her off. How did you come to New Eden, lad? Came to work the mines, like my brothers and my father and his father and all. Didn't like it. Too dark, too closed in. I need the open me, trees and rocks and water clear. I want them plains and woods and mountains. A bit of air, you know? Aye, I can relate to that. Maybe I were wrong to come. Maybe I should have stayed home. Learned a trade. Been a cook, perhaps.
they put? I try, Mr. McCraith. I try. I just want to check the wolf within. Oh, there's the Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? Yeah, okay. I thought we already have the I try, Mr. required. Good lad. What a mess. He asks you for help because he trusts you. Are werewolves even real? I've heard rumors. Who knows what's real? So, we are then gonna be back on the way to Boston to do the side quest, but that is something in or for the next episode, you guys. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.